Hello and welcome to Chilly Bee Gaming. I'm Evie and today we're back with some more Starfield. And you may notice we're starting in a completely different spot than where we ended last time. I came back here to the lodge because I think the time has come. We're going to talk to our friends and then we're going to build the armillary on the ship. And then we're going to blow this popsicle stand. So, let's get into it. Aha, right, so... Uh, who's up here? We'll speak to them first, I think. Probably a good option. Walter! Take hello! Note. Everyone here is worth learning from. Yes, even the kid. Uh, no. There's nothing like an investment paying off. We've succeeded beyond my wildest dreams. Everyone should feel proud. Well, you know... Constellation couldn't have done it without Stroud Eklund's support. Thank you, Walter. Yes, thank you. Oh, no. This moment isn't about my corporate holdings, no. Being part of Constellation was... just for me. Although there's always opportunities, I'm not above taking advantage of what we learn as a group. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Alas, while I would like to take the final jump with everyone... I'm afraid the saying, you can't take it all with you, has caught up to me. Yeah. There might not be a Stroud Eklund in the next universe, and certainly not mine. And I would be a poor choice of company if I was, well, poor. Okay, well. Um. Don't sell yourself short, yeah. You are, there's more to you than money, there is, come on now. Thank you for that. But I'd be lying to myself if I didn't admit it was a part of me. And I have no desire to find out who I am without it. Goodbye, my friend. If I could borrow a bit from Sebastian Banks. Bring light into the darkness of the unknown. Very good. I like that. Bring light into the darkness of the unknown. Which we will do, Andreja. We will, my dear. We will. Okay, so we'll talk to um, hmm? Noel next, oh, I think. Oh, sorry. I was just doing some math in my head. Trade the gabs with you. Oh, no, it's fine. Noel. Ever since I got here, this has felt like home. These people are family. I hope it feels that way for you, too. So I know we aren't keeping all the artifacts here anymore, but I think I can get some good readings from your ship. You have no idea how excited I am to analyze the data after you jump to the Unity. I'm going to make some coffee. Pull an all-nighter. <laughs> um. You can analyze your data on the ship. You come in with us. I mean, you can come with us if you want. Do you want? Let's ask. What? No, no, no. I do not do field work, oh, okay. especially not the restructuring yourself at the molecular level kind. Okay. Or whatever the unity actually does to make you starborn. Anyway, Vladimir and I have been talking, and we're both staying here. Someone has to keep Constellation going with so many people leaving. It'll be pretty quiet at first, but that's what Constellation has been doing forever, right? An old generation moves on, a new one moves in. Well, hmm. Yeah, I mean, there is a lot to see, but if you want to stay, you stay. Yeah. Okay, I promised myself I wouldn't cry. <laughs> and I'm sticking to that. So, goodbye. I'll miss you all. Oh, don't be sad. Okay, uh... Did you know Walter is one of the richest people in the universe? Shocker. I can't wait to get to the Unity! I've been reading all about parallel universe theory, and I'm so ready to meet another version of me. Do you think it's okay if I call them Korra too? Um. Some people love that kind of space. Pun intended. Are they coming with us here and Sam? I thought they'd want to stay here. Um. Yeah, I thought they'd they'd be staying here. And it is kind of dangerous. Dad said you might say that, but this is a constellation discovery, and it's equal membership. 
So... Look, Dad said that there's a chance we might all get separated after we go to the Unity. You don't think that's going to happen, do you? I mean, it might. I don't know. Yeah. That's what Dad said. I feel... kind of bad, you know? That I want to go anyway? I'm sure gonna miss the Lodge. But I can't wait to see what happens next. I mean... Oh, pleasure. It's a rare thing to know that right here and now... Hi, Cora. Might just be How's the it best days of your life. Traveling with you, Dad. Eh, it's okay. Okay, well, I think we've we've built the armillary and well, no, we've not built the armillary. What am I talking about? We spoke to our friends. I mean, okay, well, I guess we're kind of in for a penny, in for a pound now. There is. One more thing I think we should do before we go anywhere, which we will go and do right now, Miss Andreja. Here we are, right at the very tippy top of New Atlantis, where it all began, my dear, where it all began. So, I'm glad to see you. Yes. For so long, I felt that something or some part of me was missing. I could never explain it. I no longer feel that way, thanks to you. Good. Well, I want to make this permanent, official, however that works in Varun culture. Truly? Yes. You mean it? Yes. You continue to surprise and amaze me. I am... I am at a loss for words. Well, yes, I was kind of hoping that yes would be in there somewhere. Of course, yes. Yes, I want that too. Good. My culture deals with this so differently than I have seen in the rest of the settled systems. I need some time to consider what would be an appropriate, uh, equivalent gesture. But do not mistake that for hesitation. You are the best thing that has ever happened to me. And I will not let you go for a moment. And there you go. And there you go, Mrs. Lovely. We are on the precipice of something great, I think. So now there's nothing else left to do. Let's go and build that armillary and um, get on our way. we go! This is quite, quite pretty. Okay, here we go. Who is this here? It's me? You made it. I hope you're enjoying the view. I never get tired of staring at it. Eternity. 
Uh, I don't think I would sound like that, but I don't, I don't know. So you're, well, she's a version of me. I mean, yeah, is this the end, the afterlife, heaven? Well, no, it's the unity, isn't it? So you're me. A thought occurs. Can anyone ever truly experience reality outside oneself? All of time and space filters through a singular perspective. I am as much you as you are part of everything. All points connect to here. When a star is born or dies, its existence beats through the heart of this place. The unity. I have seen all you are, have been, and could be. Do you feel like you've lived a good life? Is there anything you regret? Hmm. Um. Yeah, we all have regrets. If we're honest with ourselves, we do. Everybody does. Fair. I wonder what your decision will be then. Okay. In order to become Starborn, you must give the universe one last thing. Yourself. That intangible part of you, that something that makes you unique amongst the infinite, will explode like a supernova. A part of you will fuse with the essence of this universe, while another part leaves it behind forever. Do you understand what I mean? This one final leap will change this universe forever. Even as you leave it behind. Um. Yeah. The artifacts, the temples, the armory, who created them? And why did they do it? Unknowingly, you just answered your own questions. For who creates things but creators? That is what they have been named throughout the endless circle of time. Are they one or many? Human or alien? Terrestrial or celestial? One day, you might even meet the creators. But not this day. As for the why, so that you could ask that very question. So that you could stand before me for time immemorial and delve into the mysteries of the unending cosmos. Um. Yeah, the Starborn said I would be reborn. This sounds like death. It. Well. Yeah, it does, I suppose. You're leaving a piece of yourself behind, and it's like when you die normally, you. You do leave a little bit of yourself behind. It's people's memories of you. That's a bit of yourself, isn't it? Yeah. Much like the death of a star creating new kinds of matter, so will part of your being become fused with the unity itself. That part is what becomes starborn and crosses into the multiverse. Through your eyes, it will be as if waking up from a dream. Walk into the gate of light and you will become starborn. Everything will vanish, and you will awaken somewhere else. But that isn't your only potential destiny. You could turn around, walk away from the unity until the stars fade away, and you will wake up on your ship, in your universe. You could live out the life you have. I've enjoyed speaking to you once again, all of you. Every version that is here in the Unity right now. Go out into the stars. Okay, so we walk into As that. As you consider or... stepping towards infinity, I offer you a glimpse into what will happen to the universe you may be leaving. As the essence of who you are is spread throughout space and time. Well, there's Andreja. Are we able to speak? Or do we just look? Your lover, Andresia, eventually chooses to be reborn herself. 
Your commitment to each other bolsters all relationships in the settled systems. Marriages blossom, more people in House Varun begin to question its orthodoxy and look to the outside world. Oh, that's good. So, she comes with me. That's good to know. Sharing Crix's legacy with the Crimson Fleet turns the Pirate Confederation from a mere scourge to a full-blown threat to other factions. The only thing the pirates grow to fear is each other. Oh. Okay. What about... This is Ryujin. Ryujin Industries dismantles the internal neuro amp and keeps its existence a secret. The company is successful, but quieter. Every new operative that is hired hears the story of your lies through the corporate ladder and looks to emulate your success. That's good, I suppose. Um, do we have to go around this way? To the others? I think we better head out, we? Look at this, though. This is amazing. So this is like... This is what will all your decisions have come to be. As you've... As you've... Left this universe? I don't... Okay. By defeating both the Hunter and the Emissary, the path to the unity in this universe is left for the people of the settled systems to discover on their own, uninterrupted by powerful Starborn. Well, that's good. In a way, I suppose. No people getting unnecessarily killed and stuff like that. Okay. Ron Hope's downfall proves once again that the Free Star Rangers put justice above petty power plays and politics. A sense of commitment to the common good grows throughout the Free Star Collective. Acts of heroism and noble sacrifice increase. Well, that's good. Constellation. The Constellation membership who stays behind Will in time published their data about the discovery of the artifacts, the Starborn, and the Unity. Space exploration across the settled systems is given new life as people search for hope out there in the stars. Okay. And this is obviously one of the big decisions we made. Hopefully it was the right one. The resurrection of the Asili species leads to a massive reduction in terramorph attacks across the settled systems. At the same time, the need to spread the Asili's far and wide increases cooperation between all the factions. Belief in the UC as the diplomatic leader of the settled systems grows. Well, I mean, it's good that it brings people together. Look at it. It's quite an amazing creature, really. And then there's our last choice. To proceed onwards. Into the unity. And on to the next universe. I'm glad Andreja came with us. Okay. Alternate Evie. Once you are reborn, there is no going back. So once you go, you're gone. Okay, well... Well, thanks, old universe. OG universe. <laughs> For everything. Okay. Although you leave this universe behind, a new universe awaits you. Who will you be in this one? What choices will you make? Here we go.
Starborn, that is what you have become, a being who has touched the infinite. Your story is over, but will begin anew in this universe and countless others. You remember all you have learned, your possessions and everyone you knew have been left behind. Explore this new universe and all it offers, and perhaps take another trip through the unity. Whew. And what a trip through the unity it was, folks. And we have arrived in the next universe. So let's have a look at who we are in this new universe. In our very, very fancy new ship. It looks absolutely fantastic. What a great sort of view out the front as well. So let's have a look at who we are in this universe. Although we're still kind of technically ourselves, we look a little different. We are a man in this universe. This is Eddie. I was clearly born a man in this universe. So despite me still being Evie, I'm now Eddie. And uh, as you can see, Eddie is Eddie's thick. We like a thick boy. He's actually based upon um, somebody who I know from my gym in real life. Um, kind of. He kind of looks a little bit like that. And um, I just thought, what a great person to base a character on. So here he is. He's not called Eddie. But yes, there you are. So this is our new character. Eddie here is an extrovert. He was born upon Neon as a Neon Street kid. And um, as his infamy has spread through the galaxy and the settled systems, he's got this dude who keeps like sending him messages and gifts and things and kind of an adoring fan type deal so yeah but this is eddie here he is quite the um quite the thick boy but we'll put uh, we'll put our our suit back on there we are look at that that suit is absolutely Fabulous. I love it. Brilliant. So yes, although we are still Evie, we're now Eddie. And um, we're a little bit more extroverted, a little bit more of a uh, life and soul of the party type. Oh, cargo hold. That's a cool looking cargo hold, isn't it? Okay. Anything else in here? Any 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 goods? No? Is it just... Just the ship, by the looks of it. Just the ship, sir. Just the ship. Can we walk on this, on this bit? Oh, we can! Oh, cool. Okay. So it's just like glass. Okay. Well, let's um, let's see what's on the docket, shall we? We've got to go to the lodge. Ah, yes, to the lodge. I believe we've still maintained all our, all our skills. Oh my god, we've got six skill points. Well, well, we'll have a look at those um, once we've been to the lodge, I think. I don't want to delay any further. So let's hop in. Our first time flying a starborn ship as we, well... We are now technically Starborn, are we not? Which is quite exciting. It's very, um... It's going to be very interesting, I think. Playing with some different traits. And just seeing, you know, what, what kind of happens. Because apparently you get different dialogue options. And, you know, things can go a different route, which is kind of nice. Oh, okay. Okay. Please comply. Uh, are you please? Sure. Oh yes, because we're obviously in our. Uh, we're done. You're cleared to land at New Atlantis. We're obviously in our fancy ship, and they've not really seen many like us before. Okay, so is anything going to be different? I wonder in this universe. Will everybody still be here? Will New Atlantis be the same? Let's check it out. Okay, here we are. Look at this. These starborn ships are quite impressive looking, aren't they? Okay. New Atlantis, here we are again. As Eddie, the man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> Do you know, these starborn ships... They remind me of something, the front of them. If you've ever seen it, the original, and I mean the actual original 
War of the Worlds movie. They remind me, just the head of them reminds me of the uh, the actual aliens from that. Well, the alien ships. I can assure the, oh. you this unprovoked attack on a United Colonies research facility oh dear. will not go unanswered. What? We'll get you settled into your new assignments as soon as possible. For you, Bobby, that includes meeting your new foster parent. My parents aren't dead. Oh, Bobby. They just took a different shuttle. I'll see them when they get here. Bobby reminds me of oh. somebody. Uh, well, of, of course, uh, that's sure possible. <laughs> uh, we'll, ju uh, we'll just... <laughs> Helena Chambers, IDSSCOM-1327-HCHA. Helena Chambers, wait. I was the station wait. administrator. I'll need to report to MAST ASAP for a full debrief. My treatment thus far has been entirely unacceptable. Did we meet her? Any authority you had was forfeit the moment House Varun Zealots breached the station's perimeter oh and you failed to initiate proper evacuation protocols. Oh, Thank madam. Thank you for your service. We'll find you a new position commensurate with your experience. And Mr. Bosch, let me just say how honored I am to meet you. Oh, do you By see all them? accounts, you're Scientist. the only reason anyone made it out of their life. Well, just glad I still remembered my flight basics. <laughs> It had been a while. So was shooting a gun. Wow. I read all about New Atlantis. So cool. Is it true the natural goes 5,000 miles an hour? Wow. Well, that citizens get special discounts? The G-Force. The whole city celebrates when it's your birthday? Mine's June 11th, by the way. Cool. My parents took me to Aquila City. It's kind of smell. But I don't smell anything. Um, no, yes. No, and I will certainly mark June 11th on my calendar. Yeah. As for Aquila City, well, the air purifiers here in New Atlantis are state of the art. Ah. Ugh, Aquila City? Oh, don't even get me started on those simpletons. Uh, rude. A little unfair, don't you think? Yeah. Three Star Rangers helped me out quite a bit a couple years back. Got ambushed by spacers near Narion. Oh. They assisted. No questions asked. Even help with some repairs so I could do an emergency jump home. Good people. In any event, you all must be exhausted. Okay. Just give me a moment to coordinate some details with security. If you'll excuse me. Oh, hi. Has she got that? Is it called ver Vertilago? What? No. Where you've got. Ugh, go away. All right. Bloody hell. I wanted to talk to this lady anyway. Hello. No excuse me. Do I need to call security? All right, I wanted to talk to you, but never mind. Good grief. So people are a lot ruder in this universe. Good God. It's very rude. I could have helped you, man. I could have gone and checked it out. <sighs> Maybe we should be a little bit rude in this universe. Seeing as everybody else seems to be. Good Lord. So, you, I mean, is everybody... Hello? Are you... Can't talk right now, sorry. I mean, I like your outfit. The purple and pink is fabulous. I love it. Okay. Um, right. Let's hop in. Hmm. Another day, another credit. That's the attitude. I wonder if Andrage is the same in this universe. Or whether she's maybe a completely different person. What would be weird is if... I don't know if this is part of part of it. It would be kind of interesting if they did do this. With the, the folks at Constellation, if they like... If the ladies were men and the men were ladies in this universe or something like that. I don't know if that's something that can happen. I believe somebody has seen... Um, Sarah turned into a cactus, I think. So, I mean, anything's possible. Anything's possible. All right. Let's uh, let's see. Hello, the lodge. Here I am, like returning home. Only home is home is very is very different. I mean, it doesn't look any different here. Well, okay. Hello. Well. Vasco is still the same, and nobody is a pot plant in this universe, so we're already off to a pretty good start. Uh, hello? Hello? Excuse me, this is a private... Wait. There's something familiar about you. Sarah Vasco, Morgan. Identify. Scanning. Cross-referencing known employee records of our affiliated organizations. Please remain still. This appears to be... 
the miner from Argos Extractors, lost as we were carrying the artifact from Vectera. Ah. Current whereabouts previously unknown. I see. Vosco already delivered the artifact. So, why are you showing up now? Well, hmm. So in this universe, the original EV slash Eddie might have died en route. Um, yeah, let's, um, I'm not who you think, I'm Starborn. I know what the artifacts are. I mean, we could complete this again, but we've already done it once. You're a... I see. So some of our theories about the artifacts are correct. Mm-hmm. You're taking their word for it? What if this person's just delusional? Breathe in too many gases in that mining operation. Why don't we hear him out? We know next to nothing. We have everything to gain if he's telling the truth. Bingo. All right. Let's hear it. Well. Hmm. How do we want to start this? Um, yeah, this is going to sound weird, but I've done all this before. I came here with an artifact and joined Constellation. Should Eddie have a voice? Like an accent? No, we won't do accents. We don't do accents here at Chili V Gaming. Not really. So, that's what we're looking for. The pieces to an armillary. A path to the center of a multiverse. Mm -hmm. This is either the truth or the most elaborate practical joke I've ever witnessed. I think we're past the point of doubting, Walter. Mm -hmm. In any event, we'll be able to see for ourselves. We know where most of the artifacts are now, and presumably how we get them. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think I should look for the other Starborn, because he will try and kill you all, you know. You could gather up the artifacts easily while I look for the other Starborn. I don't know if you should rush off to meet them. Some of those artifacts granted you powers, am I right? Uh-huh. We should leverage that. I want you to check with Vladimir on the eye. Oh, Vladimir. Cross-reference what you've told us with what he's picking up on the scans. You track down the artifacts the eye finds, while we gather the others. Well, all right. No problem. Um, I mean, she does seem very similar to the other Sarah, doesn't she? But she's obviously not the same. So, um, should we warn them about this? Yeah, the hunter killed one of you in my universe. He will not do the same here. And we're grateful for that, Starborn. Uh-huh. Now, let's get those artifacts. Will do, madam. Okay, what's this? Outpost permanently produce resources I five to by what? my initial skepticism of you, but uh, welcome aboard. Oh, Walter, you'll come to love me, I promise. Good to see that Mateo still has that ridiculous hat on. Some things never change. Okay, so, 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 obviously, those are the artifacts, that's fine. What? Is this like an ashtray or a snack bowl? Could y'all have put some snacks out? I'm a little peckish. The unity it was it was a long trip. A soil box. Well, I'm not going to eat soil. Blech. Starborn or not, huh? you're part of Constellation now. I hope you're as committed to the mission as you were in your last universe. Oh, don't worry about me. Look at Vasco. Oh, is customary Good to, to see say, you. Welcome home. That is not dimensionally accurate in this case. Well, I, I suppose not. That's very true. Where is... Andreja, is she still out in the field here, where we met her in the cave? Maybe. Mm. Okay. Well, everything seems kind of normal right now. I've not seen anything out of the ordinary. So, maybe we, maybe we head back. Maybe get some supplies. Now we've been given some coin, which is always nice. I appreciate the creds, and I think they gave us a weapon as well. So brilliant! All right, let's let's head back and um, get some stuff. All right, we'll head into um, Jemison Mercantile. I wonder if like the people are that. What are you doing? Oh, oh God! 
By Vectera, by Vectera, by Vectera. Oh, God. I can't believe it. Is it you? Is it really, really you? Oh, Captain of the Frontier, Bane of the Fleet, Constellation's shining star of stars. I mean, um, Bane of the Fleet. We've not even run into the Crimson Fleet in this universe yet, have we? Maybe? No? I don't know. Oh, don't be so modest. It was all over SSNN. Lone Miner tames the Crimson Fleet, saves a member of Constellation, oh. and steals the hearts of millions, no, trillions. And now you're standing here next to me. Oh, really is you, right? Dude, your hair is wild. That is a weird colour for you. Have you dyed that? It just looks weird. Um... I mean, I just joined Constellation. I'm hardly a shining star. Oh, you are definitely the brightest, biggest star in any constellation. There's no maybes about it. Good lord. I have an eye for these things. Not that you're hard to see with that halo on your head. Although at first, I wasn't sure if it was just the glare. But now that I know it's you, what are the odds? And to think... I almost went for coffee instead. But I changed my routine for one day and here you are. Yep. It's almost like it was meant to be. Well, okay, dude. Um Um Do you know what? All right. Um yeah. Okay. I know, right? And you can try to fight destiny. But you probably aren't going to win. All right. Although, if I'm being honest, I'd wager you could beat just about anything, even theoretical concepts. But why would you in this case? Either way, it's such an honor to meet you. Well, thanks. Hey, do you mind if I follow you around? Do you need a sidekick? What am I saying? You're a hero, of course you do. Lead the way. Okay, um... Yeah, alright. Do you know what? If you're going to be my sidekick, won't you need a costume? Um... <laughs> I'm gonna ask it. I've got to ask it. Good point. I'll start working on it right away, as soon as I learn how to sew. I mean, d don't worry. Until then, okay. maybe I can be a sidekick in training. Do you have an academy where fans can practice uh, groveling at your feet? Dude, this if is a lot. I can start one. You're a little extreme, but yeah, all right. Just, you just. You won't be disappointed. I don't know. Just, just look after the 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 the, the ship. Okay. Um. Yeah. That's fine. You can you can go on there. And um I'll 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 leave you to it. Okay. So that's our adoring fan. He does need a name. He can't just be called adoring fan. What should we call him? I tell you what, folks. In the comments below, give me some ideas for names for our little adoring fan here. Cuz I mean, it can't just be called Adoring Fan, can it? Y yeah. Put some, some ideas for names in the comments, and I will uh, pick my favourite. Okay. I like to think of myself as your emotional support human. Well, uh, well, okay. I mean, it's a little weird, but all right. I mean, it's obsessive. Borderline obsessive, Sergeant that's what Neely's it is. looking for reliable people to help the guard. Contact them if you're interested. Okay. We'd all appreciate it. Well, all right. That's fine. Um, right, let's talk to this Hi lady. Hi there. Hello. Thanks for stopping in. Feel free to look around. I can take care of transactions, and if you've got questions, just ask. No problem. Thank you. Uh, let's see what you got for sale. Oh, please, take a look. Thanks for shopping at Jemison Mercantile. Hey, no problem. That's fine. Okay, let's, um, let's just, should we have a little drink? Maybe a little mooch in here? What's, what's, the viewport? Okay. A new cosmic concoction, eh? Well. Hello. Hey. 
Outpost management space. Oh, these are like specialists that we can talk to. Okay, well, do you know what? Let's let's have a little little pew. Eddie. We should have got him some clothes instead of having to wear his spacesuit all the time. But do you know what? That's fine. That is absolutely fine. Because we will leave it there for today, folks. Next time we will hop back on the ship, we'll go up and see Vladimir and um well make a star on our next mission in this new universe. So until next time, be safe, be good, and look after yourselves.